Hey YouTube, it's Evan Magician 34 and a lot of people, I'm making this deck because a number of people tell me I'm recently getting into the game, what can I play on the cheap? Uh, because let's face it, a lot of the most meta decks, truly, you know, quote unquote competitive decks out there, have a pretty big budget in order to build them. I mean, the synchro decks, you know, well, extra decks, but really synchro decks, alone can cost you quite a bit of money, not to mention a lot of the staples. And then if you want to even start thinking about cards like Solemn Warning, Pot of Duality, you're really adding, really adding a lot of the money, a lot of money to the deck. But just because that's one way to go doesn't mean it's the only way to go. So I've got something here that is what you might call a super budget deck. And my super budget deck runs only commons. Every deck, every card in this deck has a common printing. I may not be using the common printing when I show it to you, but it does have a common printing. So here we go. We're running three copies of Green Gadget. Uh, he's got a number of easy to get printings. Yes, this is a gadget deck. It's not hard to run either, so if you're getting back into the game, it's uh, a nice easy play. Three copies of Red Gadget and three copies of Yellow Gadget. The Machina Mayhem structure deck actually has uh, a lot of the good commons for this deck. It also has, uh, well, the Cyber Dragon we're about to get to, but Card Trooper also comes as a common. Uh, he comes in the Warrior's Strike deck, uh, the one with the Geminis in it anyway. Uh, he's a common in that deck, so he's quite easy to get now. Two copies of Card Trooper, a good machine that can do a lot of damage. His mill isn't really that important in this deck, so you don't necessarily even want to activate it on priority. Three copies of Cyber Dragon. He does have this nice common printing right here. Uh, just beat down, pure and simple. Uh, watch out for uh, Chimera Trek Fortress Dragon. He can suck that up off the field if you're not careful. We're also running one copy of Cyber Valley. This is just to kind of edge out your monster count, give you a little more draw power. Um, it, it works. You can easily replace it with something else if you want, but you definitely want to keep it all machines because we are running Solidarity. One copy of Monster Born, good beat down here. Giant Trinade helps you kind of plow through for a quick kill. We are running one Pot of Avarice, it's good for getting your gadgets back into your deck and whatnot. Uh, we're also running Limiter Removal, this does have a common printing. Dark Hole, because we like to destroy monsters, that's what we're running. We're running a very basic, straightforward gadget deck. Three copies of Smashing Ground, blows up big monsters that your gadgets otherwise can't handle. We're also running three copies of Fissure. This is also a great way to kill things like uh, Thunder King Ryo, who can uh, really get in your way otherwise because of his ability. One copy of Book of Moons can get around things like Stardust Dragon. And a great way to kill people is Enemy Controller. Just straight up steal their stuff. It's a good defensive tool, too. Um, very powerful, and a lot of things don't even survive a gadget attack once they're switched to defense mode. So play this judiciously. Um, when played correctly, Enemy Controller is a very good card for this deck. We're also running two copies of Solidarity. Uh, everything in the deck is a machine, so you don't really have to worry about it or overthink it. Uh, the card is inherently a minus one and leaves you open to uh, things like MST, but generally speaking, your opponent's probably going to try to MST your set back rows. Um, once again, played with a little bit of wisdom, Solidarity is pretty useful, at least in this deck. Uh, not every deck that runs just one type necessarily wants to run Solidarity, but uh, gadgets, uh, some of their builds do benefit from Solidarity, especially the budget builds. So, Mirror Force, it does have a common printing now. Great way to clean off those monsters and just keep summoning gadgets and attacking. Torrential Tribute, because your gadgets probably aren't as useful to you as their monsters are to them. So, One copy of Royal Oppression, it does have a common printing. I believe it's from one of the Turbo Packs, but it does have a common printing. This is probably the most expensive card in the whole deck. Um, get any rarity you want. The regular rare and the dual terminal versions work just as well. But just one copy of Royal Oppression, because it's uh, at one, obviously. Two copies of Bottomless Trap Hole. And last but not least, three copies of Dimensional Prison. And all these can probably be bought just as singles from a store online or from your local card shop or something like that. Alright, and this is the deck. Uh, adding money to the deck, uh, definitely can think about things like Solemn Morning as an alternative. Uh, Pot of Duality is a great addition to this deck. Um, just a variety of things you kind of want to experiment with it on your own. Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon is definitely something you might want to consider. Um, your Monster Reborn would like you to have Synchros in your extra deck. So, really, you can even use commons like Gaia Knight, The Force of Earth, and uh, Xaber Urbellum. Just anything to target for a different star level so that you can Monster Reborn or even enemy control to potentially sink away your opponent's monsters and just make a big beat stick. 
Um, so throwing in some extra monsters or some singer monsters on uh, different levels would probably uh, benefit you just because a monster are born. Uh, but anyway, that's the deck. And until next time, rate, comment, subscribe, and check out my channel for more cool.